In this video, I'm going to be talking about five tools and add-ons for Google Analytics that will take your reporting to the next level. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to Vitamin BI, bringing you business intelligence for beginners and beyond. My name's Adam and on this channel I help you do more with data. So if you're new here, do think about subscribing and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. While you're at it, why not hit that like button and comment down below with your favourite Google Analytics tool or one that you'd like to have. Links to all of the tools I discuss in this video will be in the description below. Right, let's jump onto my computer and start with number one. The first is called GA Annotations. It's a Google Chrome browser extension that, once installed, lets you add annotations to your reports for specific events. And it works with both Universal Analytics and Google Analytics version 4 properties. So, for example, if you launched a new product or offer on your website, you can create an annotation for it that will show up on the chart next to the date of that event. This means you can easily see the impact that events have on your website traffic. You have basic annotations that you can set up manually using the web interface or via the extension icon, or you can bulk upload via CSV. And then you have integrations and automations. There are currently 10 integrations with things like Google Ads, MailChimp, Shopify and Slack. So for example, you could have annotations for when new ads and email campaigns are launched. With automations, you can set up website monitoring that checks every minute that your website is online, news alerts based on your chosen keywords, retail marketing dates, holidays, and my personal favorite, weather alerts for different cities and events. There's also an API available for more advanced annotation management, and I hear that they'll soon be releasing an update that will let you set up notifications for events. All in all, an excellent little tool. What's also great is that there's a completely free version that's limited to manual and bulk CSV upload annotations, but still worth having. But if you do decide to go for a paid plan, the nice people at GA Annotations have been kind enough to give me a coupon code that will give you a whopping 25% off your first purchase. Link and code in the description. Okay, the next tool for Google Analytics we're going to look at also lets you supercharge your reports in GA. But it only works in Universal Analytics properties. It's called DaVinci Tools and is also a free Google Chrome extension that can be installed in just a few clicks. There are lots of different functionalities available, but a couple of the standout ones for me are things like the ability to add heat maps or bar charts to table columns that help you read your data much more easily. There's also a feature that lets you collapse table rows when you're comparing date periods, so that you can then apply the heat maps to the comparison figures only, and that is pretty smart. Other less remarkable but nonetheless useful features include the ability to automatically highlight maximum and minimum values in a series on a chart to make them easier to spot, additional predefined date picker ranges, and DaVinci will automatically remember your last viewed report and take you there the next time you open Analytics. One final DaVinci feature I'll mention that I'll admit I haven't actually dived deeper into yet is something called a B test calculator, where you can select different metrics and test whether the difference between them is statistically significant. Quite neat if you're into that kind of thing. DaVinci is actually an extension produced by a company called Supermetrics, who have a load of different tools, not only for Google Analytics, but also for Google Ads. And they provide a data hub for connecting to all of your marketing data and more in Google Data Studio and Sheets. There's a link to both the DaVinci extension and the data hub in the description. Talking of data hubs, PowerMy Analytics also has a similar offering to Supermetrics. And PowerMy Analytics is also a great tool for supercharging your Google Analytics reporting, which is done in two main ways. Firstly, PowerMy Analytics allows you to integrate cost data directly into Google Analytics from a range of different data sources, like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Microsoft Ads. 
TikTok and Snapchat, among others. Secondly, and what I think is even more powerful, is that you can connect Google Analytics to either Sheets or Data Studio and play around with the data there. There are other tools that can do this, but one of the main advantages of PowerMy Analytics is that you can combine multiple GA properties into the same data source and analyze the aggregated data together, which you can't do in Analytics itself, unless you've got 360, which costs a fortune. With Data Studio, once you've connected your accounts, there are great pre-built dashboard templates that you can use as a starting point for creating your own, more tailored dashboards that could combine GA data with a load of other different data sources from Amazon FBA to QuickBooks to Shopify to Stripe. Connecting to all of your accounts is very easily done and doesn't require any coding knowledge at all. Being able to bring all of your data into one place will end up saving you a ton of time. And because of this, as you can imagine, it's not free, even though you can start a 14-day free trial. Once you've tested it and seen how powerful it is, you'll probably want to start a subscription, which starts off at only $29.95 paid monthly, or you can save 16% if you pay yearly. Personally, being a user myself, I think this offers great value and costs a lot less than some other similar data hubs or BI tools on the market. I reached out to PowerMy Analytics and they've said that they'll double the length of your free trial from 14 to 28 days if you say that Adam from Vitamin BI sent you. Not bad at all. Link in the description. Number four on the list is one provided by Google itself called Spreadsheets Add-on for Google Analytics. It does exactly what it says on the tin and lets you bring analytics data into Sheets by creating and running reports via the Analytics API. The resulting data gets imported into the sheet for you to be able to manipulate it to your heart's desire, visualize the results, etc. So basically, it's for people who work a lot in Sheets and like to work with spreadsheets rather than using other analysis and reporting tools. You could use it for combining data from multiple analytics properties if you needed to do that but didn't want to pay for something like PowerMy Analytics to do so. Overall, this spreadsheets add-on is useful to have if not spectacular and what's installed is only a couple of clicks away via the add-ons menu, so easily accessible. You first need to create the report by selecting the property, metrics, dimensions and segments and then you run the reports manually or schedule them to run which will then populate a sheet with the results. Simple and effective. The final tool of the five is a quick one that fulfills one single useful purpose. Here's the scenario. You spend a lot of time working on websites, not only analyzing them, but also building them, testing them, etc. Every time you load the website, your visit might be logged by Google Analytics. If you're visiting the website all the time, that could mean your visits show up along with the regular website traffic. To report on website traffic accurately, you'd need to be able to exclude your visits from the total traffic. There are different ways to do this in analytics by setting up filters that exclude, for example, your IP address. But what if you're working remotely or you're on the road a lot? How do you filter out all of these visits from different locations simply? Well, for this, you have a tool called Internalize for Google Analytics. It works by sending a custom dimension to the UA account of the page you're browsing. This custom dimension can then be used as a filter in Analytics to block out unwanted internal traffic. There are other tools that allow you to completely block your traffic from Google Analytics, but I like the way that this one works. The only downside is that it only works for UA properties and not GA4 ones, so not ideal for everyone. As I said at the beginning, all links to the tools we've looked at are below in the video description, including that coupon code for 25% off your first purchase with GA annotations. Not sure how long that will be valid for, so I'd recommend taking advantage of it while you can. If you found this video useful, please do hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss an upload. I hope you found this useful. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see, please do feel free to add them in the comments below. 
Until the next time, I've been Adam Feiner and stay BI Curious.